So the concise guide is a snapshot in time of material that's presented on our database. So the online database is an enormous collection of information about pharmacological targets and the ligands that modulate them, so either activate or inhibit them. The concise guide is a, is a version which is condensed into a paper format, which is meant to highlight in particular the agents which are selective for uh, particular targets. So the concise guide as a resource doesn't appear to be particularly concise because it's 440 pages. But the view we would take is it's a way of presenting the information in a concise way. So the number of targets that we have is about 1,700 molecular targets with around 4,000 ligands and, and multiple interactions between them. And so what we have is a concise way, a tabular way, of presenting side-by-side -side members of a family to try and allow uh, a new user to be able to see which ligands would be the most beneficial in order to define an individual subtype or, or range of, of entities. We try to arrange the concise guide into logical elements that, that are grouped uh, both structurally and to a certain extent pharmacologically as well. So we have G-protein coupled receptors, which are a large class of, of interest to pharmacologists. We have uh, ligand-gated ion channels, another subset of receptors, the voltage-gated ion channels, and other ion channels which are not readily classified as either voltage-gated or, or ligand-gated. Uh, nuclear hormone receptors, catalytic receptors, and then transporters, enzymes, and other proteins which don't readily fall into the other categories. So I think we'd regard it as having two uses, both an educational use and a research use. So as an educational resource, the capacity for um, undergraduate pharmacology students or students doing uh, medical or pharmacy degrees where they might be given a task of researching a particular topic and they'd use the a concise guide as a starting point for researching that area. For the research aspect, there's a similarity there in that people who are new to a given area would want to find the ligands that best define uh, the molecular target that they're interested in. Although it's described as a guide to pharmacology, there's obviously key interest in these pharmacological targets from biochemists and physiologists and, and other disciplines. So you could understand that uh, somebody who's uh, interested in a particular signaling sequence that might involve key uh, targets, biochemical targets, enzymes, would be wanting to identify agents which would selectively interfere with those. Well, it would also identify the right sort of concentrations that might be used. And the similar sort of thing that you might consider for physiologists where, for instance, ion channel physiologists would want to have the same sort of uh, indications which agents to use and what concentrations. The mechanism for collation of information for the online guide to pharmacology is that the nomenclature committee of, of IUFAR, the International Union of Basic and Clinical Pharmacology, has a network of around about 90 subcommittees with currently around about 450 scientists globally who feed into the information that's gathered. For the concise guide itself, we have this two yearly cycle where the editors uh, identify which of the elements of the online guide would feed into the concise guide and we ask those network of, of scientists for updates that allow us to form the concise version. To have a commonality of nomenclature is a, is a vital bit of communication and the, the link in with the nomenclature committee of the International Union of Basic and Clinical Pharmacology means that there's a commonality of language that everybody across the globe can use. The area of expansion for the future is likely to be the enzymes where um, there is still a few more yet to, to be defined in terms of pharmacological tools that will uh, help us to identify their involvement. For most people, there's an, uh, an involvement in drug discovery processes, in understanding the, the therapeutic aspects of drugs that are, are used clinically. And so we focus very much on, on human receptors, ion channels, enzymes and transporters. Where information on those isn't available, then we would also take information from, for instance, from uh, rodent species. Uh, in the future, it's not impossible that what we'll uh, look to do is to expand our repertoire to look for uh, targets that are of interest therapeutically, but are not actually uh, human targets. The concise guide will be linked to from the British Pharmacological Society website and also from the British Journal of Pharmacology website. 
And so what they can do is they can download uh, individual PDFs for the different sections that deal with GPCRs and ligand-gated ion channels and so on. Uh, there is also a, a handy USB that if they go along to the right meetings, they can meet up with staff from the BPS and from Wiley. We'll be able to pass on a USB wristband where the PDFs are also available for them to investigate.